Hi guys, how are you? My name is Mark Jologi Mugai. I am an online tutor. I make online tutorial videos. My YouTube channel is official Mark Mugai. Please subscribe. You can also like my page on Mark Mugai, Facebook page on Mark Mugai. Please subscribe. Don't miss it. How are you? Good morning guys, how are you? I hope you're blessed. God has kept you well. Today I want us to do another question on loci. Realize I've done so many questions on this. I've done for sliding bar mechanism, four bar mechanism. Now I want us to do a sliding bar mechanism. This is a neck pass paper question, 30 marks. If you're very careful, you can see it is 30 marks. And if you're able to do this, then you're able to have 30 marks in your exam. Look for more 10 more marks and pass your exam. The figure 2 shows a crank BC rotating about C. Um, AB is constrained to travel on and fro along AC. Plot the locus of point P. For one revolution of the crank, point P is the midpoint of the crank. Please follow every procedure as I show you how to draw this. As you can see, this is BC. This is BC. So this is the one rotating uh, to and fro. At point A, you, rot you have a rotation of linear. At this point, you have a, a, an angular rotation. Follow as I show you. So the very first thing, like I've been telling you and I told you, when it comes to neck questions, what you do, you gain, draw, a reference line and a straight line like this so like that so uh, i will have to rotate this question this question in neck looks like from it's from bottom to top now i'll make it from uh, left to right i just rotate it then identify a reference point from this guy from this point like this like that so this becomes our reference point so from this point we are told that we have a circle of what of of 35 35 uh, millimeters or 3.5 centimeters so from here you look for your 35 so our 35 will be at that point that is our 35 like that standing at this middle point that you have identified draw a circle like this very much correctly like that after doing that now again divide this circle into 12 equal parts like I've shown you in the previous videos strike up strike down Again, strike on the left side, strike on the right side, strike on this side, strike on this side, stand at this point, strike on this side, again, strike again on the other side, like that. After doing that, you have divided that circle into 12 equal parts. You are told that you have a crank BC. So from here to here, this is our C, and this is our B1. So from our B1, then we are told along this line here, we have a point A. And this at this point A, uh, and at, at this particular point A, we have to draw a, a, a BA, a crank BA, which is 150. So you measure 150. So I have told you that a normal, our normal, uh, our normal pair of compass cannot measure 150. So in our sets, we always have something we call a trammel. A trammel is always kept at this particular point. It is always at this point. This is where we put our trammel. Uh, at this point, this is where we put a trammel. This trammel is this shaft. It is something like this. It is something, uh, it is just something like this. So, this thing, this shaft, you just open uh, from this point jointed. You open it like this, then you put this like this. Then you measure your 150. That is how we use a trammel. That is the essence of a trammel. So, using your trammel, stand at this particular point like this. Again, measure 150. So, our 150 is at that point, you see. So, standing at this particular point here, like this, straight an arc at this point. So, there we have our point A. And at this point A, we are told that it is moving to and fro. Having it moving to and fro, yeah, so, so, having done that, you join your BA. Join your BA, join your crank BA, like this. Have you joined it like that? You are told there is a midpoint, which is called P, and which you are supposed to draw. Uh, uh, you are supposed to draw. So measure 75, 150 divided by 275. Using your pair of compass, again at this point, here we have our point P1. So this is B1, and this is our A1, P1. So we are supposed to draw the locus of point P. So we will do this, uh, we will do this procedure 12 times going uh, uh, when this thing is revolving in any direction 
you can choose any direction so we have so you join this point first from this point to this other point again join it like that from this point from this uh, point to this other point again like this from this line to this line join it from this line to this other line again you join it like that so there you have it so this is our b1 let this be our b2 b3 b4 b5 b6 b7 b8 b9 b10 b11 b12 this one you can choose you can choose to go like this uh, anti-clockwise uh, or you can choose to go clockwise you're not being told yes it's you to choose so repeat the same procedure stand on your b2 standing again on b2 using your 150 straight your mark along this line this point here we have our a2 so join your a2 and b2 like this so our a2 and b2 you join it at this particular point again like that Having gotten that, take half of it to find the locus of point P. At this point, you measure it like this. So this becomes our P2. Again, repeat the same procedure with B3. B3 is at this particular point. Strike it at this point. So at this point, we have our A3. Using your pair of ruler, join B3 and A3 so much quickly. Repeat the same procedure. Again, get your 30 marks like that. Then starting at that particular point from B3, strike a mark of uh, to look for the you're looking. We have to look for this line. This uh, our A3. This is our A3. So we are striking here. And at this point here, we have our P3. Again, stand again at B4 with the same measurements of 150. Strike it. And at this point, we have our A4. Join it. Straight line. A4 and B4 like this. You join it properly like this yes like that so at this particular point again standing at this uh, before at this point here at this point here we have our p4 repeat the same procedure with b5 stand where b5 is this is where b5 is like a mark like that so here we have our a5 from this point draw a straight line linking b4 b5 and a5 you link it very well so linking it like this at that point like that so standing at this particular juncture at this point again like this here we have our p5 that is our p5 okay we have our b6 b6 like this the same measurement our a6 is at this point then a6 is already linked so join from b6 look for your midpoint like this so at this point we have our P6 like that. Repeat it again with B7. B7. Strike it like this. You see B7, B7 and A5 are almost in the same place. You see B7 and B5 are almost in the same place. So at this particular point, pick again your 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 your, your ruler and join this line. So B7 and N in this one B7 like that so from here after you've got your seven stand at this particular point join it like this so here we have our p7 having our p7 go to our b8 b8 strike it it is the b8 and a4 are in the same place take your ruler again straight line and get your 30 marks ah how easy this question was so again from this point again choose a midpoint like this so get your P8. So go in your P8. Repeat again with B9. B9 and B3 will be in the same place here. So that's where they're intersecting. Then at this particular point, stand here and B9 like this. And strike an arc like that. Then from B9 like here, like this. Strike an arc like that. B9. At this point, you have a P. Nine. Repeat the same with B10. B10 and B2 will be in the same place. If I don't, if I'm not missing it out, I ask. From this point again, stand at this particular point. B9 and B10. Strike it like that. Then at this particular juncture, is in the midpoint like this. Here we have our P10. Again, repeat it with our B11. At this point, strike it with our A1. 
ability with our A1. Join it with our B11, like that. Then from this particular juncture, again look for the midpoint, that is the P, strike it like this. This is the line, you striking it at this particular point here. We have our P11. Look at our B12. Our B12, B12, B12. At this point, it has this point. Now this one is our A12. A12. Again, join it. It is already joined. Find for the midpoint. Stand at this point. Strike it at this point. Here we have our P12. The next thing is to join. Join them using a freehand sketch. This. this is how you draw a locus of a point and get 30 marks. That question was simply 30 marks. Oh, how easy that question would have been for anyone who would have done this question and uh, and completed it uh, completed it within minutes and within seconds. Like this, like that. So that is the locus point of point P. Please subscribe to this youtube channel and watch more 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 videos remember i said that videos are good why videos are good because you, with the video you can repeat over and over and over and over again you can replay your video over and over again and like a live teaching you know you cannot ask teacher uh, so many questions so many questions they will get tired of you but look at videos videos you have to repeat and rewind and rewind and rewind until you understand for example, if you do not understand how to draw this P, you can simply get this video, watch it on YouTube and repeat and repeat and rewind and rewind and rewind until you understand how to draw this. It was as simple as this. This was 30 marks. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel at official. Mark Mungai and God will bless you. God bless you.